angels, welcome back. I hope you are okay and that you had a fabulous week. So this week what we're doing is what are the next moves gonna be towards you? Ooh, super exciting. We're gonna see what the future energy brings of the two of you, you and the person that you are thinking about and where it's heading. And so I have two decks for you to pick from. As always, I need to work with the strongest mutual energy with you all. So if you think about your person, and you go to the deck that you are most drawn to. And as you're drawn to that deck, I want you to feel your emotions for your person. Feel it in your heart center, in your heart chakra, and push that energy to the deck you are most drawn to. Now, if you can't feel it, just visualize a pink or a green color from your energy, from where you are going to the deck you are most drawn to. So what this is doing is it's picking that mutual energy between you all, okay? Number one and number two. Okay, so like how we did maths at school and we had to do like averages and you'd put all the numbers together and pull out the strong one. It works like that with energy. So all of your energies, all your people's energies and the strongest energy between you all, regardless of your circumstances. Deck number one. Okay, let's do this. So uh, someone asked me to use this deck the other day. This is the Modern Witch Tarot. I got it a couple of years back at the London Tarot Conference. Um, when we met the, the, the guy that owns the uh, Liminal, Liminal 11, I want to say. Um, fabulous guy. I haven't used it in ages, so it felt like it was right. Think about your person for me. Can we get into their person's thoughts, feelings, energy, emotions, and thought processes? And or possibilities, probabilities, choices, choices, and changes. And let's do what are their next moves towards you. Now, actually, Spirit are really drawing me to the Lenoma over here. So I'm going to start off by pulling you three Lenoma of what's going to happen next with you and your person. And then I'm going to go on to your tarot. So what's going to happen next with those people watching and their person? What is the next moves? What are their people's next moves towards them? Okay, that's a good start too. Do you remember this song? Um, Meet me at the crossroads. Meet me at the crossroads, crossroads, crossroads. Remember that one? Don't ask me to sing, I'm a terrible singer. But that song coming up into your energy. So where you and your person have been um, and where this is heading, you and you and your person are at this crossroads, at this bit of a T-junction, Spirit is saying. And it's this time now about making a choice, making a decision on the situation and where it's going. You are going through a period of transformation and that transformation is leading to the crossroads, okay? Your person can be a little bit of a stubborn bugger um, and that stubbornness is still kind of residing with the situation between the two of you. But there's definitely this transformation and moving things forward with them. Really kind of very strong energy of moving things forward between you guys and um, making a decision, making a choice on everything and creating these changes for this relationship to have a new beginning. So let's do your tarot. Can you tell me please what are the next moves? of deck number one and their people watching. I quite like that bedding. I've got yellow bedding and it kind of reminds me a bit of that. I love the colour yellow. Let's have this one. What are the next moves of the people? What moves are going to make? Three, four, and the overall outcome, let's just get three at the bottom. One, two, three. Okay. So it has been a bit of a sticky, stagnant situation with you guys. Like we said, you know, it's come up to this point where you're standing on the crossroads. You know that you have to make a choice on it. Your person knows that they have to make a choice on it. But neither of you are particularly making headway with the situation. Um, and it is this sense of feeling a little bit stuck, a little bit stagnated, a little bit of unsure uncertainty about what pathway you're going in. Where does it go? What happens next? very very kind of sticky energy around you guys from that sticky energy you have this fear based energy coming forward so it's probably you're probably losing a little bit of sleep over it you're probably feeling a little bit anxious a little bit on edge it's really important that you know your person is feeling that as well so there is a sense of mirroring going on with you so anything that you're feeling and thinking your person is likely thinking and feeling the same it's very kind of uh, mirroring fear based energy coming up 
it's like they're making two steps forward towards you and three steps backwards. And it's been like this for a little while and that's why that sense of stagnation has come forward. You've been wanting them to make a choice on this. You've been thinking like, come on guys, make a decision. Let me know what pathway you want to go down. Tell me what you want to do. Um, and they haven't been telling you. You have been in their back of the mind. Uh, they have been thinking about you a lot. There's also this need for wanting to communicate with you as well. So they want to talk to you about their feelings. They want to talk to you about their fears as well. But what they're doing at the moment is they're just not doing anything. They're just stagnating that energy. Having a bit of a breather, having a bit of a rest from it all. Okay, so again, this kind of energy of feeling a little bit lost, a little bit stuck, a little bit like I don't really know what I'm doing with this situation. Now, whilst that is where your current energy is with your person, these fears that are primarily taking control of this are going to start fading away. And we have the one card that came out in reverse. I'm going to read the reversal of this, Eight of Swords. So your Eight of Swords always talks about being trapped, but, but kind of being trapped by your own energy, trapped by your own fears, by your own worries, your own concerns. Now, with it being in reverse, this is talking about the chains being released so over here with these three cards saying there's fears in the way there's not making a choice we're having a bit of a breather on it eight of swords then coming up in reverse saying where this situation currently is there is going to be a shift and a transformation in that and if we come back to Lenoma at the start with child and crossroads uh, roads at the start you have this transition of, of coming to a crossroads and making choices so yes, it's stagnant at the moment, but you have got a shift in this energy. What is going to cause that shift? Let's have a look at that. What is going to cause the shift in energy? With that number one. Oops. What is going to cause the shift in energy? So you guys are going to be a bit like, well, you know, if it looks like you're going to be the ones calling the shots on this, and you're going to say to your person, look. If this isn't going to work out, it's time for me to either move on or just have a bit of space from you. I'm not sure what's going on. You're playing a bit of a silly buggers here and I'm getting fed up and I feel like I'm wasting my time. And when you do that, that is what shifts the energy. OK, so through shifting that energy, you then have this dynamic partnership. Spirit is saying with your king and queen of pentacles, a lot more stable, a lot more secure. You have your wishes coming true over here. Things moving in the right direction for you. And we also have strength. OK, so the situation isn't the easiest. It is a little bit more complicated. It's going to take a little bit of resolving healing time spirit are saying you're probably looking about two to three months for them to create this very very strong action towards you but they will do it okay they will do it it's going to take them having this fear of losing you or fear of oh my god what if it doesn't work out what if this what if that that little bit of fear that's going to build up with them is going to be more um in your favor than the fear of well what happens if this happens and that happens so the fear of losing you is going to be more intense than the fear of what could happen and through that fear of losing you this is where these moves are coming towards you okay making strong movement going through this transformation your ace of swords over here really cutting through all the crap that's been going on in the past ready for a new beginning there could be a few ten uh tears and tantrums spirit are saying there could be a few arguments that are going to be leading to this progression route with you guys but you have got this massive progression route coming up and that's the important thing especially with that crossroads song see you at the crossroads so wherever you are at the moment with that stagnancy you're heading towards the crossroads the crossroads are your transformation you're going to be merging your energies and moving forward together your person uh, is still quite stubborn but they're going to have this fear of losing you and through losing you this is when they're going to gain and you are going to gain and the connection can build between you both and that will bring the two of you together still very kind of stubborn energy coming up around them okay um like i said it's going to be about two to three months for this energy to take a shift with you guys but there is a shift happening Okay, the overall outcome of this is really really positive uh spirit is saying just hold on a little while longer Fasten your seatbelt uh, by pendulum just came through my right ear. Ladies and gentlemen, fasten your seatbelt. You've got this dynamic duo, they're saying. 
the king and queen of pentacles the stab stability the security the connection the family unit between you guys or your nine of cups as well everything kind of coming true within with you so lots of positive progression routes happening. Uh, it's just going to take a little bit of time to get out of this stagnancy. But as I said, that fear of losing you or you just kind of taking a step back from this, that fear is going to be what pushes them more towards you and takes them out of this indecision, this let's wait around, let's see what goes on, um, at, to making this very, very strong movement through this transformation. Also, children coming up over here, guys. If some of you are wanting to have children with your, uh, with your person, potential for babies coming through with this as well. A new transformation of new birth with children coming up as well. Okay, so if some of you are wanting babies with your person and wanting that family unit, you have the opportunity for that as well in the future. And that is deck number one. Okay, beauties, uh, all details are in the description. If you need me, website's up and running. Uh, there's a contact form on there, which you can fill in. Tells you all the types of different readings I do. Uh, I am about, at the moment, England is out of lockdown. Finally, we did it. Um, so I'm a little bit busier than I was before, trying to catch up with some of my friends and my family. But I am still working, I am still doing readings um, and I am still doing email readings as well. So if you need me, just drop me a message um, and I'll be back with you as soon as possible. Okay, guys, lots of love to you all. I'll speak to you uh, next week. Lots of goddess blessings your way. Ciao. Okay, guys, so deck number two. Now, as I did with deck number one, I'm actually going to start off by doing your Lenormand um, to see what the overall energy of you and your person and then moves they're making towards you are so what are the people of deck number two's person's moves going to be towards those watching what are their next moves one two what are their next moves Okay, it's really interesting that you've pulled uh, two tens on this. So any of you that are into normal playing cards, you pull the ten of hearts and you've also pulled the ten of clubs. So ten coming up is a very, very strong energy between you both. Ten, ten, endings and new beginnings. Really strong energy coming forward. Okay, first and foremost. So you and your person have been uh, in a little bit of a rut. You haven't been worth, you haven't been sure if you're friends, if you're more than friends, if you're lovers. There hasn't been any kind of specific title thrown on this and you haven't really been sure about what the situation is, what pathway you're going down, what is actually happening with you um, and what is the title of this connection. Now with that, the song uh, Spirit are saying is you're not quite lovers, but you're more than friends. Okay, so that majority energy coming forward over here, that they probably haven't given you that commitment or what it is that you're specifically after, but you're definitely more than friends and there is a love energy between you guys. So your person has potentially been wearing a little bit of a mask with you um, on the friendship line, saying, well, you know, well, we can't be anything serious or we're not this and we're not that. Um, and you've been feeling a little bit lost and spirit saying perturbed by the situation, big word there, feeling a little bit annoyed, a little bit irritated by this. Now, the other side of this, if we're going to look at the flip side of you feeling perturbed, when they're talking about the friendship side of things, there is a sense of a love between you guys, okay? A bit of an unconditional love happening with you both. So even if they're wearing this mask and saying, well, this is this and that is that, and that is how it's going to be, um, it's not actually true, okay? They're wearing a mask with it all um, and the love that they have for you is very strong. It runs very deeply, but they're just not very sure about how to um, deal with it, okay? And that's where this mask energy is coming forward. So through this progression route of you and this, this friendship or this um, energy that the two of you share, you've got this successful card at the end of it okay so the mask of friendship really coming up forward but friendship leads to success so what this is saying is your person is wanting to build this connection on a stable foundation with you so maybe in the past things uh, with exes or other people it's all been a little bit in uproar um, and your person thought no for this 
relationship for my next relationship I really want to make sure that this relationship is a lot more stable that I know what I'm getting myself into and this is what is coming up over here okay so the successful energy of this coming forward and that is why you're feeling a little bit lost as to what is going on but what your person is doing is trying to build a solid foundation for you okay so let's have a look at the tarot what moves is that person going to make towards them on deck number two? What moves is that person going to make towards them on deck number two? Three. Whoopsie! Threw them all, all over the floor. Okay. Uh, what moves are they going to make? Four, five, and let me just get three for the overall outcome. One, good start. Two, three. Okay, so there is very much an ending and a new beginning happening with debt number two. So as I said at the very start, that 1010 that's come up in your Lenormand over here, very much symbolising um, an ending and a new beginning with you guys. So if you took a step back or they took a step back or it just hasn't quite gone how you wanted, to do, wanted it to, conflicts, tensions, arguments, uh, avoidance, all of that kind of stuff, that is coming to a close. And you have very much this ending of a cycle and a beginning of a new one. So where it's been difficult and there's been this need to make a choice and make a decision and trying to perhaps understand the situation to a little bit more depth that is coming to a close and you'll be heading making headway with your person if you allow it you've got the star right next to your outcomes over here as well so even though like i said it might have been a little bit difficult at this moment in time that difficulty is leading to endings and new beginnings and these new beginnings are showing that you are on the right path with your person okay so Sometimes it takes us taking a step back from a situation or getting out of our own way or just really kind of focusing on ourselves to realise what it is that we want. And that is what you guys have been doing or are about to do. So if you sit in there and think, well, we're not actually talking at the moment because they haven't been giving me what I want doesn't matter because it's coming back round again that's a song coming back round again I just heard that really clearly um I don't know what song it is um this one specific lyric coming back round again okay your energy with your person it's coming round so you and them uh it's a little bit of work. Your person, what moves are they going to make towards you? So at the moment, they're going to try and keep a little bit balanced on it. As I said, they're trying to build this stable foundation with you and your person. You, with you and them, uh, sorry. They are, you, you might be feeling that this is a bit of a time limit, but you're trying to put a timing on this and say, it's got to be at this point. It's got to happen by then. And if it doesn't, I'm going to take a step back from the situation. What you're doing by doing that is you're putting a control on this. And by taking control of this, you're not allowing um, your person to navigate around you. So do take your foot off the gas of this and let the universe take control of it, okay? Don't set time limits for something that is not earthly. Ooh, I know, I know that's hard to hear, but try not to, okay? Allow the universe to do its job. If you're pressing halt on it, you won't allow it to move forward. So do just be aware of that. Your person keeping balanced on it, as I said, to building up these stable foundations with you. There is a marriage happening with some of you guys as well. I do see legal contracts being thrown into the mix, okay? Potential marriage. Ooh, so it's going to be worth the wait in the longer term, will be worth the wait. Um, and again, it's coming back to this building, this foundation on stability and security, all right? This is a much more divine connection, uh, very important that both of you speak your truth spirit are saying trusting your own judgment trusting your own intuition on it and speaking your truth you've got the two of you coming together into a connection as i said over here at the start of your lenoma you have the two of you merging your energies coming together again new beginnings 
coming forward, cutting away all the crap, all the shit that's been building up with you guys in the past and working towards a future where the two of you are just building this strong connection. And as I said, you've got the potential for marriage over here. So really strong connection moving forward. It's going to take a little bit of time for things to work out. It's not just going to be all... You know, like I said to you, try not to put an earthly timing on it. It's not just going to be when you want it, it's going to happen. It is something that will take time. But through taking time, that is what's going to build the stability between you guys. And that stability leads to your success over here. So you and your person and their next moves towards you. Um, you're going to get frustrated because you're going to feel like nothing is really happening. So you're going to get a bit frustrated with that. Could be a little bit backwards, a little bit forwards. You're going to be thinking, oh, I don't know if this is actually what I want, whether I should take a step back from this or not. Um, your person is just going to keep doing everything that they're doing. They're going to make a little bit more affirmative movement towards you, Spirit are saying. Um, but do be aware that, like I said, they're building this on a connection that is stable. Spirit always said to me, if you build a relationship on quicksand, it is going to sink. If you build a relationship with a very solid, stable foundation that has an element of friendship, then that is what helps to build things up. So even if the connection isn't where you want it to be right now, what you're doing is you're doing things at your person's speed. And through doing it at their speed, you can move the situation into your favour of coming together. So the next moves are going to make towards you, a little bit here, a little bit there, but there is a forward focus with them. They are focusing on the future, but they're doing it from a different perspective. Don't try not to badger them for labels. Try not to badger them for when it's going to happen. They need this time to build this foundation with you. And that is what they are doing. That is the move they are making. They are making time to build that foundation with you. It's not quite at your speed, which, like I said, I know is frustrating for you guys. Uh, but Spirit is saying it's going to come back around again. You're moving this connection forward. OK, so it's really, really positive, just not in your timing. It's in theirs. And that is deck number two. So if you need me, just drop me a message. All the details are in description. England is finally out of lockdown again. Whoopee. Um, so I am out and about a little bit more. Uh, but if you need me, I am still doing readings. I'm doing email readings. 15 minute and a half hour readings. Uh, I do past life readings, life purpose readings. All the details are on the website. Go have a nosy. Um, and see see what's what's there all right guys i'm sending tons of love to you all i will speak to you all soon lots of goddess blessings uh your way uh stay safe and i'll see you all next week ciao beauties